Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care Happy Wednesday, happy hump day Happy hump day a happy hump day a happy hump day to your baby yeah happy hump day y'all so if this is your first time tuning in thank you very much if this if you're a returning watcher thank you very much like share comment and join the, the squad the crazy squad it don't cost anything it don't cost nothing just hit the subscribe button hit the bell to be notified when your girl upload another video and watch the video and the ads till the end yes thank you you guys so today i do got a topic but i want to show you my ipsy this is february ipsy okay so i'm gonna do an unboxing real quick You know, I love, I feel like a kid every month, once a month. Okay, I love opening up these damn Ipsy bags. Oh, it's, oh this is pretty. <clears throat> it's like a, it's, it's pink, but it's like this different, kind, like a fuchsia pink. I can't describe it. Let me see if I can turn the light on. It's like it's pink, but it has like a it's like a dark, it's almost like a very, very light purple. Like a extra, oh, it's, it's pretty and it's soft. It has this soft material. This is nice, you guys. February Ipsy. We have Tula skincare. All right. Eye renewing cream. This is what I need. I Because I got bags under my eyes. Okay, I got four bags. Two under each eye. Okay, your girl tired. So, I need this, this renewing eye cream. Okay? I definitely need this. <laughs> I definitely need this. Okay, it's renewing eye cream. It's just a little sample. So I'm sure I'm going to... I'm, look. I'm tired of these bags. So that was perfect. And what is this? Love your what? Four in one. Damn, I, these words are so small. Oh, long wear foundation. Long wear foundation. Yeah, and it's just little samples that you get every month, and then you can order the large version of it. Um, you can add extra to your bag. Like I just get the minimum. Look, okay, I got too many bills. I can't be affording to pay all that. So this is only like you pay every month for this, like twelve dollars or something, and then you pick all these different samples. Okay, and um, look, I need to be a um. A sponsor for them because I'm really happy about it I mean my little my little advertisement will be it'll be real it won't be fake because I when I be seeing stuff I, I'm not for sure on I say something about it I give you a real review okay now this is oh eyeshadow I wish I can see I don't I want to wear eyeshadow I don't know how to put it on but this is eyeshadow. Let me see what color they got. And they give you just a little tiny. It's, look how small it is. Okay. They want you to be able to try it on one time. So you can hurry up and buy it. They're going to get you hooked. And you, you got to buy it. And this is pretty. That is a pretty color. <clears throat> That's a pretty color. And you know you'll get hooked on this. And next thing you know, you'll be buying two or three of the large ones. So you won't run out. That's how, that's how you advertise. That's what you do. You give out nice size samples. 
Okay. That's how they get you at Costco. Honey, I walk out of there full in mug. I go to every stop, okay? Every stop. Okay, what is this? Auto bomb. But what is it? I guess it's a um oh blush. Yeah, blush. And then inside the bag, um, they give you a list of everything that they put in the bag. And this is the inside. Has a little ipsy symbol there. And it's, see, can you hear this? So it's lined. Because this is so soft. This is lined with some, some kind of material so you won't mess this up. So this is really actually nice. And I would use this in my, in my purse as a makeup, a little makeup bag. Well, that's it for the MC, y'all. That's it for the MC. February MC. Now, on to my topic. So, I don't know what these... I'm not computer... I'm still really getting into this this um, internet stuff, okay? You know, I got to explain everything so you guys can understand. So, I was... I got onto this... It's this particular um, type of... It's like a... People will put out a, 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 a topic or something. And then people just, you know, type in what, what they think about it or their opinion on it and I don't know what that's called but um anyway I just had to explain it so you know what where, where I was at I was on this this group thing I don't know how I stumbled on it but it was you know like a forum or something anyway the topic was would you sa sacrifice your uh kids over your spouse and and that's what they you know and I so I went I was like hmm because I, I know of a situation like that where um, a, a, a parent, uh, you know, chose their, you know, their their mate, their, their spouse or whatever over their children, you know. So I it, it, it interests me because that's what a lot of people do nowadays, it seems like, this particular uh, era. I mean, it's gotten worse. It's been like that in, throughout the years, you know, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. You know, it's been like that, but it just seemed like it's just so saturated with that type of behavior, you know. So I clicked on it, okay. And I was reading through some of the opinions, you know, and I was, you know, reading some, what some women were saying and, you know, if a man can't accept, you know, can't do, you know, you know, I was reading all that type of stuff. Different opinions from different people from all over. I ran across this man's opinion. He, it was like damn near four paragraphs. Okay, I was like, damn, it's too much reading. But everything was in the first two paragraphs that I needed to hear. Okay. <clears throat> he and everything else is jibber jabber, you know. So he said, this man said, you know, I love my kids to the core. Okay. I love them deeply. He goes on to say, but they're just my responsibility. And I was, I was reading. I was like, okay. I was. He said, they're just my responsibility. I'm only responsible for them for a certain limit of time. And after that, I'm not responsible for them anymore. And my wife, you know, they're, my kids are going to move on and leave the nest and start their own lives and do their own thing and build their own family and go and start their life. And who's going to be there for me? My wife. My wife would be is the one that's going to be there for me through everything. And so I, I it I 
at that point reading what he was saying in his his you know thing i said i never thought about it from that perspective you know and um that's a totally different perspective than what i because and it threw me like right now it's hard for me to even even um talk about it or find the words to express it you know what i'm saying because you always think you know your kids yes you love them but you're gonna they're gonna always they're gonna always need you they're gonna always be there these are my kids this is baggage if if you come in to a relationship with somebody will have kids or if you have your own kids they're you're supposed to you know they're supposed to come first they're supposed to be that's you you got to think about how your kids feel when you you know bring people over when you when you um meet a new person in your life or even new friends people that you meet as friends girlfriends or boyfriends your, your friend your partners they come over you got to protect their the aura that those people are bringing in you know they're they're you might be inviting some dynamic spirits in your house. I mean, you got to be careful even with friends. So you think about your kids, how they feel. You know, letting somebody come over and having people around your kids in their presence. And you think about their feelings, how they, you know, you think you protect them you forever. And they're going to do the same for you. But, and you don't let nobody come before them. That's what I was always... So then when I was reading and he said that, I was like, damn, you know, I, I never thought of it from that perspective. But if you, well, I can't even say that. I was going to say if you raise them and show them morals, but that's another thing. You can raise your kids or talk to whoever and show them the right way and you know you, you didn't introduce them to God, you didn't they grew up in a halfway decent home and you work hard and you try to teach your kids the right way and you do things. But at a certain point, they do have their own mind. They do start making their own decisions. And you can teach them to be good and they still turn out bad. Or vice versa. So you can't even... That was a tough one for me. Reading his, you know, that response. Because I never thought of it from that perspective. And then you, and then, see, when your kids are little, you know, you can kind of control their, their decisions. They ain't no kind of, you, you can't. But when they get older, you can't. And they just move on and go on. They can, you know, it's just a trip. I ain't never that one got me. I want you guys to chime in on this and and leave your your comments. Um I'm really interested in knowing how you guys feel about this. You know, I, I need some feedback. I want let's have a conversation because really this is interesting. And it would be very interesting to hear your 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 opinion and your view on this. Really, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be checking this video throughout the day to comment. I'm going to find time. Look, today I, I am. Every time I take a cigarette break, I'm going to be checking it, okay? Because um, I really want to I really want to know, you guys. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you no longer. I'm parking in a different parking uh, spot. Okay, I, I got up a little late this morning. And now I'm in a different area, so <clears throat> people, you can see more people, so. And I don't like people want, wonder, trying to wonder what I'm doing. Click on my, come to my channel and see what I'm doing. Don't come to my window asking me what I'm doing. You see I'm taping, I'm talking into a video. Okay, so if you really want to know what I'm talking about, why don't you go on and, and, and tune in to my YouTube channel. Okay, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and that bell since you all, since you all watching. Okay, since you're watching. Okay, thank you for the views. I appreciate it.
that's sometimes that's kind of the attitude you gotta have. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Okay, I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments. Okay, have a wonderful day. Try not to let nobody hook you today, y'all. We're going to take this one day at a time. We ain't going to get hooked today. And that's what we're going to tell ourselves, okay? We ain't going to get hooked, and we're not going to hook nobody else. We not. How can we expect for us to be still in our joy? We want, we want people to keep us in our joy, but then we don't want to help them keep them in theirs. We just want them to give to us, but we don't want to give back. That is not fair. <laughs> it's, it ain't fair. So don't do it. Just don't do it, okay? And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.